Alright guys, welcome back for more Skyward Sword. So, Alright, so in this part of the episode, we're actually going to get the final of the Gratitude Crystals, because, um, just, there's, there's only just one more, and then we're actually going to get our, uh, our big prize. But hold on, I gotta get this guy over here. I don't want to use my arrows or anything. Let's get a little closer here. You, got you, you actually have to go up here in order to actually get the final one. You have to talk to the, uh, the Beetle Airship guy. But before we get to the, um, main part of this story in this game, I just want to really get this out of the way. This shouldn't t really take that long, actually. Alright. I think you, the only time you can do this is after when you're done with all three of the dragons. And then you'll be able to do this, so... Um... I tried to do it before then, but it didn't really work. So you have to actually do it after. So yeah, we actually have to lay down. Yes, there is a bet here. I think I've shown you this already. <laughs> I honestly never knew that when I first played. I actually, I actually accidentally went to this spot, and I was like... You can sleep here? That's very interesting. It must be pretty uncomfortable if it's like a freaking metal whatever. I don't even know. How can you actually sleep in that thing, man? <laughs> Alright, well. I think I've already showed you what this place is like, and now we just talk to him over here. This part is not really that hard. It's usually the last uh, gratitude crystal that I always do, though. On Colossus Beetle, huh? Interesting. Sure, I'll do it. I'll find it. I think I've already found it before. I think it's that one dude that is a bug lover, I forgot his name. But yeah, we actually have to go there to the Thunderhead. I could cut, though, because it does take time to get back there. But we'll do it the regular way. This is all going to be one video. And then the next episode, we're actually going to move on with the main part of the story, because I really want to finish this game. We're almost done, though. We're going to lay down the uncomfortable bed. Yeah, there is another item here. Uh, it's just a bug metal. That's all it really is. We already, I've already got all the bugs anyway, so. I think it's a thousand rubies or something. Okay. Uh-oh. Whoa. I wasn't expecting him to fall down like that. I don't know if I show you this guy yet. If you fall down, he'll just like pick you back up and it shows this cutscene here. This always happens when you don't fall off the way you're supposed to. Like dive down or whatever. But yeah. Okay, so uh, we're going to go over here. I wanted to pull that out because I, want, I wanted to get my uh, my audio with timed with the video because I don't like my uh, video being completely off sync. It just bothers me a lot. So, Okay, so yeah. on to the Thunderhead probably for the last time. Because God, we've been in the Thunderhead a lot. Just make sure not to get hit by the tornadoes, of course. Because these things love to come out of nowhere. Yeah, like that. Like, they'll come right in front of you. Because the one time when I did the boost, like, when I uh, boosted to try to get over here faster, the uh, tornado was right in front of me. I had no way to dodge, so it's like, ugh. And it does take a heart piece away from you. Like, it'll just take, like, one single damage. It's crazy. Alright, there's Levius again. We're not gonna go see him. We need to go. Hold on, where is it? Oh, it's over there. Yeah.
Alright, there you are. <laughs> Make sure to do a practice of this first before you actually uh, get this started because uh, I think you got a certain time limit for this. I think it's only three minutes or whatever. You actually get that prize that the other guy needs. But this is actually very easy though. So we're going to do bug collecting in this one. And capture some bugs as fast as you can, but it only, it'll only give you a certain amount though. If you actually look at the side, like of the, uh, it's below your shield or whatever, and it'll show you what bugs you have to actually catch. Sure, let's do it. Sometimes the bugs can be like two in a row or whatever, but these bugs can respawn though. Sorry, right, so let's do it. Alright, one's gonna be right here. And this one took me a really long time. As you notice, it, it didn't really do the check thing. So, I guess that's not the one. Here's one of them right here. The dragonfly one. And we'll check right there. We're gonna do the top one first because, uh, this one's easier. Those are actually rare. Don't get all these guys because they're just in the way. But you don't have to really catch them, it's just they're blocking your way. Alright, this you need to get to. Okay, now we're gonna go down here. Butterfly, we need to catch those. It's a good thing I got this up uh, this um Upgraded net because you can catch stuff so much easier. The regular net takes forever. All right, we're gonna probably get these guys. I think we have to catch one of these too. No, we don't. All right, so we're gonna go up here. Probably catch the rest of them. So here's the second one. Make it over here. There is one bug though that's extremely hard to get. It's not really too hard, it's just you gotta time it perfectly. And it's the hardest one to get. It's that one you find in the La Never Desert, and it's just annoying. You have to walk really, really slow. It's this one right over here. Yeah. Because if you walk too fast, it'll run away. And those are actually very hard to get. Okay, so now we're gonna do another turn. And then we should be done. There we go. See, that was pretty easy. Give you plenty of time for that anyway. All right. Okay. Well, that was an uh, interesting game right there. I'm probably gonna go ahead and cut this because you know it'll take a while to get back and all that stuff. So. I'm probably gonna do, I'm gonna meet you back at that one guy, and then, this is probably gonna take me a couple minutes till I get there, so, I'll meet you guys back at the, uh, at nighttime where you're supposed to see that dude, so, alright, be right back. 
Alright guys, I'm back. So, here he is right here, now we're gonna talk to him. Alright, so we have to go back to sleep. Welcome. All right, we got the final one. We got all eating. See, everything is now complete. Okay, now we're gonna go see the demon guy and see what he needs. Needs to uh, see what's gonna actually. Is he actually gonna turn back human again? Because he was been cursed as a demon for a while, so we're gonna do that. I'm only hitting up to 15 minutes, I'm surprised. Boy. Alright, <laughs> they want to fall off again. Alright, so let's go see the demon guy. It doesn't really matter, I think it's day or night, it doesn't matter. Okay, so let's see what our major prize is since we got all 80. What is it? We get the Tycoon wallet, which is actually the mega wallet. You can hold a jaw dropping over 9,000 rubies. I honestly was not expecting to get that many rubies in this game. I know that reference has been overused so many times, but I had to do it now, so... Uh-oh. What's happening? Oh my god. Hey, he's human again. Huh. Alright, well, he's back human again, so we're actually done getting all the gratitude crystals. And guess what? Also, at nighttime in Skyloft, there's no more enemies anymore. Considering he's no longer an, uh, a uh, demon. I actually found that out when I uh, got all, all of them for the first time. And I was like, wait a minute, there's no enemies around anymore. Because now everybody's actually normally outside at night. So, it's a little uh, heads up there if in case you want to come out at nighttime when, the, when he's human again. Because he'll actually be outside. And just say, hey, it's a... Uh, it's calming outside or whatever. So alright, so we're gonna go over here because now we need to activate another cutscene. And then I'm gonna stop the video. Cause uh plus uh, you know I'm gonna cut all the other stuff out that I um 
was going through the Thunderhead and all that stuff again. But now we can have over 9,000 rubies, man. That's insane. So yeah, you actually go over here. You notice there's actually a missing eye um, piece over here. So now we get the second one. So let's see what actually happens here. A cannon. Uh, what's that supposed to do? Uh, nothing happened. One little thing did all that. Whoa. Oh, whoa, whoa. What the? That thing was underneath the goddess? That's insane. Now what? Huh. <laughs> That's pretty cool right there. So yeah, this is the final temple of the game here. Well, I basically call it a temple. But it's really freaking cool. I don't find this place annoying. Yeah, Demise. We're getting close to Demise. Yeah, whoever thought this thing would be underground. That's pretty insane, isn't it? Things are getting interesting now. Now, I'm probably going to get the last of the hard piece after I'm done with this place. And then get everything set in order to get to the final battle. Because I know Gearham wants to fight us again. We all know we're going to fight him again. Alright guys, so I'm going to stop right here. And then next time we're going to enter this epic looking place here. Oh boy, things are going to get interesting here cuz I'm actually going to do a practice follow this cuz I know this place is a is a this place is actually pretty big to be honest and look how big it actually looks like but yeah. All right guys, so I will see you guys next time. Peace out everybody.